PV started somewhere around 2006 here in Greece. Since then, we can say for sure that PV industry uh, created more than 2,000 direct jobs and 15,000 indirect jobs. The total capacity now of PV power here in Greece is somewhere around 2.5 gigawatts of solar power. 2.5 gigawatts, and how much, how much of the percentage of uh, the total industry is this? Of the total electricity production? Uh, solar power accounts for uh, about 10% of the total energy that we use here in Greece on an annual basis. Uh, what is the principle of net metering? Oh, net metering, everything started back in 1980 in uh, the States where some people found out that uh, they could use a solar panel or a small wind turbine to actually make their electricity meter go backwards. So since then, after 10 years about, there was a big question whether net metering should be made legal or it should be made illegal in the States and it was made legal. So one can actually use net metering system, a net metering system, in order to offset his electricity consumption over a year, over a year. And that is in the United States, but is it possible in Europe, the same kind of system? Well, the same system applies also to some countries here in, in EU, like in Cyprus, uh, like in Netherlands, uh, in Denmark. But uh, now it also applies in Greece too. But we might say that the system here in Greece is a bit different compared to what is happening in the States. In the States, when you produce an energy, a kilowatt hour of energy, you actually offset uh, one kilowatt hour of consumed energy. Here in Greece, the same applies, but you don't offset the same amount of money. So you actually, the financial benefit is less than buying the same energy from the Greek. And uh, how or why did you get it into the Greek law? Well, actually, everything happened in 2012. Uh, PV industry started, as I said before, in 2006. And from 2006 to 2012, uh, all the capacity of uh, photovoltaics was installed under the uh, Finnish tariff scheme. So in 2012, uh, the government actually reduced the Finnish tariff so much and so fast the demand actually became zero. The whole market halted and we really needed to do something else that would allow us to keep on working, carry on working uh, and uh, keep the energy, the solar energy industry moving here in Greece. And that's how we tried to uh, uh, introduce net metering in the Greek market. And what did the lobby of the net metering like in Greece? So you're on the company side, but uh what other parties were involved in the net metering problem? Well, actually, in the beginning, it was uh, a small number of uh, uh, installer companies, and uh, gradually, as the uh, idea started gaining ground, more and more people and uh, entities started to to jump in. The first was another uh, union of uh, uh, companies that actually selling. Solar, uh, solar systems and then we started to connect and communicate and uh, with the NGOs like uh, Greenpeace and uh, WWF. Yeah. 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 And what was the end result? And the end result was that it took us somewhere around two years from the first proposition to the Ministry of Energy here in Greece until the uh, actual decision for the reduction of the metering took place uh, in, the end, in, this, in December of uh, 2014. But I really must say that Greenpeace was one of the first, uh, of the pioneers for the introduction of Edmund in Greece, proposing it uh, all the way back to 2000, the year 2000. Who was against the net metering in Greece? Or Well, I dare say that. Uh, during these two years that we're trying to introduce the metering, uh, 
there was uh, nobody actually said no but uh, it looked like the systems uh, were showing a significant resistance because uh, if we see uh, from other countries like in Cyprus in Cyprus it took only three months to produce that building three or four months to produce that building in Greece it took us two years and still we can't say that we have a rolling procedure for deploying net metering systems so it is self-evident that somebody or something somehow gets in the process and delayed the whole the whole the whole procedure. But the Greece is still very much dependent on uh, coal electricity, especially from late night. Uh, what is the response from, from let's say the, the coal industry and uh, did they try to uh, block it because I think they're not happy with decentralized uh, solar power energy? Well it's it's pretty obvious that in a market when you have a particular share and you have a job into this market uh, not as a person but as a company as, a, as, as an organization as whatever you try to defend this so uh, it's it is my understanding that the coal lobby really uh, was the the the, 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 the main uh, cause for actually delaying the whole net metering uh, the production of net metering in Greece and there was a pretty a pretty good uh, excuse for doing that because uh, uh, lignite is a Greek resource, and uh, there was always the, the the argument that by using our own resources, things get cheaper. Electricity is cheaper, something which is not true because we all know that lignite in Greece is not one of the best of the best quality. And uh, then the question is: Is solar power energy is it cheaper than? Uh Night. Well, it depends. It depends on, on how you see it. Uh, really, uh, using a, a renewable system, renewable systems today can produce energy a very cheap, uh, very, can produce very cheap energy. Actually, they can go cheaper than the retail price of the, uh, of, uh, of the grid. But, uh, what we need to take under consideration is what the cost will be uh, assuming the, the cost of storage so we can say that up to a certain point where storage is not needed renewable energy today is much cheaper than lignite or anybody else or anything else uh, but from this point and then storage needs to be deployed and then the cost goes up but this is something that we expect the years to, to, to drop the years to come. So there's a pretty bright future for the TV industry. How does the new uh, Syriza government uh, respond to uh, such a revolution in the, uh, the energy sector? The present government? Yeah. Well, the present government, uh, actually right from the day that it was uh, the opposition, actually supported our, 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 uh, our demand. We were really supportive. But uh, right now, I think that there are many other things that are a priority for them, rather than the PV industry. Uh, a big priority is energy poverty, so creating cheap access uh, for people not only in the city but also in their homes. Uh, how can you how can you make sure that people uh, use uh, sort of power uh, rather than uh, what is considered to be cheap uh, coal? Mm -hmm. Well. It's true that installing a, a renewable energy system costs and, and it's a, a, a substantial outflow of money for a consumer, order, for an end user in order to deploy it. So, but uh, innovation in renewables it's not only, it does not come only from a technological point of view, but also comes uh, in the business models that's being deployed. Uh, if you notice in California, the biggest innovation is, uh, is that uh, solar systems are not being sold to the end users, but they are leased, which means that an end user does not need to pay for the whole system, but just needs to pay a small amount of money every month. So, here in Greece, being into crisis, I really can say that maybe it's not easy for most of Greeks to buy a system, uh, but it would be really easy to lease the system, providing that the, the appropriate measures were taken 
which would allow the capital to come into the country. What are the next steps? So this meeting is now in the door, uh, since uh, around uh, six months. And uh, what needs to be done in order to get the green condition uh, to buy the system and must start using or using it and uh, switch from uh, coal to solar power? Well, I just say that uh, Greek, Greek consumers are really um, uh, have a very strange behavior. Sometimes they uh, they show a really uh, revolutionary, uh, uh, you know, attitude against new products. Sometimes they are really traditional, and it's not easy for them to to actually start accepting them. Um, experience has shown that by the by, by the time that you introduce a new measure. It would take something like one and a half to two years until until people start to understand and accept the whole uh, uh, the, 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 this new product. So I believe that it would take us somewhere like one or two years until we we'll see uh, Greek net metering market start uh, moving. But what really concerns me is that net metering actually is 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 something like the bridge between the old fitting tariff era of renewables and the new storage space era that is coming. Everybody knows that uh, in year 2020 we expect the storage, uh, the price of storage to go down. So we will see net metering as an intermediate step, as a bridge between these two eras. So uh, I don't think that net metering here in Greece uh, uh, will be deployed in uh, in a large amount, because I believe that storage, the cost of storage, will drop down and will will move faster into this new era of, of storage-based renewables. And when we get to this new era, what does this mean for jobs? Is this a sector that provides a lot of jobs, or is it just uh, uh, limited? Well, uh, it's a new it's a, it's a, it's a new era. I, I don't think that. The, Everybody can, it's, it's easy to, to predict what's going to happen, but for sure, uh, all households will need, will, will, somehow, will find a way, will need a way to, to move on to this new era. Electricity will be cheaper, new business models will arrive, the market will adopt the model. So, I believe that in 20 years from now, all households and all buildings, actually, will have somehow deployed renewable energy. So in that sense, I believe that yes, there will be a large increase in the new uh, uh, jobs. Or you will see people moving from other uh, uh, activities to get into the, getting a job in the renewable industry.